Welcome back to another video. Today is Season 1, Episode 2 of Funko Pop Review. I chose another six different pops that I've picked up over the course since October to now. Anyway, let's get started. Now, this first pop is one from New York Comic Con 2020, and this here is Beachhead. Now, this one was shared with Target, so I picked this one up at Target. And I only ended up getting two pops for New York Comic Con. Uh, one of them will be upcoming sometime soon in Funko Pop Review. I don't know if it will be this season. Anyway, so that one will be coming sometime soon. Or it might be in Comic Con Pop Review before this one. Because this one, it, 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 will, it will eventually get its own B in its own Comic Con Pop Review episode. But, that, but as of right now, it isn't. So I only ended up picking up two pops. So when I was when my mom was checking out in the Funko shop, she had Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy in her cart. But when it came for her turn to check out, uh, the pop had already sold. It had already sold out. It sold out in our cart pretty much. The Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. It had already sold out by the time we checked out. So that was really sad. But I was able to get the other one. Which, I'm not going to spoil it. You might know what it is. Anyway, let's get back to Beachhead. So, this here is Beachhead. From there, it says Beachhead. There's the 2020 Fall Convention sticker. He's number 13 in Pop Retro Toys. There's the G.I. Joe logo. On the side there, there's a picture of the Pop. And I like how it says G.I. Joe on the side. And then on the back, it says G.I. Joe with an actual picture of Beachhead. Now, for the G.I. Joe Retro Toys, I have Beachhead, and then I also pre-ordered um, Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow, and those are coming in June, like, 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 first or second week of June. They're supposed to come, uh, it's one of my Funko Fair pre-orders, they're supposed to come in around the same time as my two Happy Days pre-orders, so I can't wait for those to come in. Anyway, let's move on. Okay, we're just going to act like we do not hear that Avengers Avengers Infinity War in the background. We do not hear any copyright. Disney, no, you, you don't hear anything. Oh, what's next? I think. Yeah, this one's next. This next one here is one I needed to help complete my Back to the Future stuff. This here is the Target exclusive Marty McFly in Future outfit. Now, this is one my brother picked up for me for Christmas. And I had no clue that this pop was even out yet um so yeah glad i was able to get this one uh, i've never seen this one in person besides the one that i have and the box did come in great condition so i was glad he did pick this one up for me so now i have three back to the future pops i haven't really ever seen the other ones uh from the new wave in person i've seen them before at nebraska furniture mart um, but other than that, I've never seen them before. I guess I have seen the dock with the clock tower. Um, but that was a bit too expensive at the time I've seen it. I saw it at Target. The bottom there says Marty in Future Outfit. There's the only at Target sticker. He has number 962 in Pop Movies. There's the Back to the Future logo. And this is from the second movie, When He Goes to the Future. Kind of spoiler, but you probably know that. On the side, there's a picture of the Pop. Then on the back, it has the 35th Anniversary Wave. So, there is the Marty McFly 1955. Marty with glasses. Doc Brown with helmet. And then the bottom row is Doc Brown 2015. Marty McFly and Puffy Vest. The common Marty in Future Outfit. And then Biff Tannen. Now, the difference between this one and the common. The common one, the hat is silver. And then this one, it's more rainbow metallic, like it is in the movie. This next one here is another one for my Christmas haul. You probably saw it in the video. Anyway, this one here is Magic Johnson. It's hard to see. Um, so yeah, there, you can kind of see them. I'll show them up better. Um, so yeah, this is a cool one. And um, so this box did not come like that. When I was, it accidentally got teared right there. Um, which is definitely my fault, so, that accidentally happened, but I am glad I was able to get the figure, though, and it's kind of noticeable. Anyway, I am a 
big Lakers fan. My dad, he really likes the 1980s Lakers. He grew up with the 1980s Lakers. So, he really enjoys this pop. The bottom there, it says Magic Johnson. There's the Hardwood Classics logo on he's number 78 in pop basketball. There's the Los Angeles Lakers logo. It's not zooming out again. And they did just make a new wave of basketball legends, which is coming out kind of around this time. Uh, some notable characters, uh, not characters, but people that have in there. They have Dennis Rodman, which is one I won't pick up. And there's Scottie Pippen, which I might pick up. And then uh, Julius Irving, which I'll also pick up. And then for this original wave, then Magic Johnson, Larry Bird, which is one that I won't pick up. Uh, you, you know the rivalry. And then they also had a uh, Shaquille O'Neal, which I'll also pick up. Doesn't really look like him, but it's still a cool one. And then there's also a rumor that they might be making the USA Dream Team Pops. And that's the one that had, like, Michael Jordan, Magic Johnson, Larry Bird. Uh, Michael Jordan is rumored to be in the works. And then Larry Bird is rumored to be a Target exclusive. If they do make him as a Target exclusive, I'll probably pick it up. On the side, there's a picture of the pop, and in the background is a basketball court. Then on the back, it's the Hardwood Classics, Los Angeles Lakers, Magic Johnson. Now, I don't have many sports ones. This is the only NBA player that I have. I do have another NBA one, uh, which is Squatch, which I showed off in uh, the first episode of Comic-Con Pop Review. But anyway, it's still a really cool pop. This next one here is one that I picked up off of the Funko Shop. This is one I wanted for my pop around the world line. I'm only missing, there's only two that I want to pick up that I'm missing. Anyway, this one is Hamsel. Now this one, the pop around the world pops are actually starting to go up in price. And this one is one of the more expensive ones, surprisingly. Hamsel is one of the more expensive ones in my collection. Bottom there says Hamsel. He is number 9 in Pop Around the World. He's also Germany, so there's the German flag right there. On the side, you have a picture of the Pop with a map of the world behind it. He'd be located somewhere in there. So I think that's Africa. Or is that South America? Huh. I can't tell. And then... Oh yeah, that's definitely Africa on the back there. And then he has the back. They made 12. One came out every month. So, the first one, which came out in January, is Barkingham, which is one of the two that I'm missing. Number two in the line is Tula, which is Brazil. That's one I did not pick up. Number three is Finley. I was going to order that one off the Funko shop after it came out, um, but it sold out uh, when I was going to decide to order it. Then number four is Ozzy, which I picked up. Five is Rosa, one of the most expensive ones. Six is Pyra. Seven is Toshi. And then number eight is Douglas. Now, number nine is not supposed to be Hamsel. It's supposed to be Peko the Bull. He was going to be Spain. Rest in peace. They decided to get rid of Peko for Carmen. Why? Peko looked a lot better. I don't even know what Animal Carmen is. I just, I was really looking forward for the Peko one to come out. He's one of my favorites. So, if you look on the back of the Aussie box, it has Peko. But if you look on the back of Hamsel and the other pop around the world one that I picked up, just coming up soon, it has Carmen. Anyway, number 10 is Nora. Number 11 is Pasha. And then number 12 is Carmen, also. Rosa's Mexico, came out in Cinco de Mayo for May. Pyra, if I'm not mistaken, is India. Toshi is Japan. Douglas is Canada. Hampton is Germany. Nora, I think that one might be Norway. I'm not sure on that one. Pasha, if I'm not mistaken, is Russia. And then Carmen is Spain. Also, like I do with my um, videos, I will be showing, doing close-ups of them at the end. Anyway, the other one. For Pop Around the World that I picked up, I decided to throw him in a protector, because I really like this one. Anyway, this here is Douglas. Because I had an extra protector laying around, so I just decided to throw Douglas in it, because I really like him. Anyway, this here is Douglas. Uh, well, he's Canada, by the way. At the bottom there, it says... Doing the zoom-in problem again. Come on! 
Okay, here, let me figure this out. Okay, I fixed it. Anyway, there's Douglas there. He's number eight in Pop Around the World. There's the Pop Around the World logo, as well as Canada, the Canadian flag. On the side there, the picture of the Pop. And then on the back, I'm, I'm not going to name them all again, um, but it has the whole set. Also, speaking of another one that killed off Mexico, instead of it being Rosa, it, when they first had concepts of the Pops in the works, uh, Mexico was originally supposed to be a donkey with the sombrero and maracas. Yeah, I think he had like a mariachi outfit on as well, but in blue, in a blue sombrero. It looked pretty cool, um, but they decided not to do go with that one and go with Rosa, which is fine. Looks a lot like Mexico, um, but if they did make the donkey uh, for Mexico, I definitely would have picked that one up. And if they did make it, it would have came out on Cinco de Mayo like Rosa did. And then the last pop here is one I picked up for my Myths line. I picked this one up during Funko's buy to get one, th no, buy one get one free deal on the Funko shop. I picked up this one, and then I picked up one other one, but they're in my giant pile of pops. I just haven't shown off yet. Uh, the other one, I got three ad icons, and then this one for my Myths line, Myth line. This here is the Cycloth. Now for the Myths line, I'm just missing Bigfoot. Bigfoot. I would take either the MC the Comic Con one or the Funko Shop him with the marshmallow on a stick. Because they're basically the same. Snowy Bigfoot, which was Fan Expo Canada. Loch Ness Monster. He's probably my favorite one out of the Myths line. So I definitely do want that one. And then there's the Jackalope, which I'm missing. And then... Trying to remember. And then I I already have the gnome. I have Cyclops. And then I'm just missing the six inch Kraken, which I come so I saw it was coming out that day, but I completely forgot about it because I went over to have lunch at my grandma's house. So I completely forgot that he came out that day. So I missed out on him. And then I missed out on Pegasus because I was I was trying to hit it in my cart. But then the website, uh, Funko.com, crashed for me. When I was able to get back in, he already sold out. So yeah, I've had a lot of trouble with the Myth ones in the past. But they seem to go up in price and then go back down. Some of them, some of them though, have retained their value and stayed up in price. Like, for example, a good example is the Loch Ness Monster. He's still really expensive. Um, but other than that, the Jackalope. Uh, he's not that expensive, and the, um, 6-inch ones are about 30 to $60 on eBay, so I will eventually get those ones. Bottom there to Cyclops, there's the Funko Shop, the old sticker. He's number 23 in the pot myth line, there's the Cyclops logo that they made for him. And then on the side there, there's a picture of the pop with, like, Kind of a Greek building in the background. And then on the back, it says Cyclops. And it has some history behind them. Which I'll read it. It's kind of small on camera, so I'm bringing the pop back. The fearsome lumbering Cyclops hails from ancient Greek legends. The most famous of these one-eyed giants was the Polymuthus from Homer's Odyssey. This rapious creature captured Odysseus and his crew, and devoured many of his men before Odysseus blinded him, escaping certain death, saving the remainder of his crew. Sorry, I didn't know some of the words there, but hey, I think I did pretty good. So this first pop, guys, we got here, this here is Beachhead. Um, here's the close-up of him. So he has a gun, kind of like a vest on. He has camo pants. There's the vest there. He kind of has like a vest and a backpack on camo pants and then he kind of has like this green mask on i picked this one up because i thought it looked pretty cool uh not much to say about this one i don't know much about it but i just picked it up because i thought he looked really cool also for some weird reason he never really stands the best for me beachhead um but overall i think he's still a pretty cool figure also guys if you were wondering i will beachhead will make an appearance in comic-con pop review as well 
Next pop we got here is Marty McFly. So he has the rainbow metallic pop that actually looks really good with my lamp on. Then he has his future jacket on, the red shirt underneath. The pockets, which are inside out, because Doc Brown tells him that's how people do it in the future. Then he has this kind of a glare. Anyway, yeah, there's a glare. But anyway, he has on the Nike shoes that tie itself there you can kind of see him there but overall this is a cool one and one i'm glad i was that my brother did pick up for me because i do really enjoy this one but other than that though there's not that much to this pop he's a very simple pop but if you've seen the movie he has the same exact outfit on and it just looks really good now they've made a lot of different marty and future outfits in the past there was the one exclusive of him hovering on the hoverboard, which is one of the more expensive Back to the Future ones. And I'm not including the Glow in the Dark originals for the Doc Brown and Marty McFly. There's no way I'm ever going to pick those up. They're worth uh, quite a lot of money, so there's no way I'm going to be able to pick those ones up. If I really try, I could maybe in the, a long time in the future. But those are ones that are kind of grails for me, the original Back to the Future ones. And I'm not talking about the common Doc Brown Marty McFly. I'm talking about the exclusive Glow in the Dark version. There was a, um, like a green version of Marty McFly, which came out for New York Comic Con. And um, that one sold out pretty quick. So yeah. But anyway, besides him on the hoverboard, they also made the common one, of course. And then they also made the Walmart exclusive. It came with a t-shirt. Anyways, him, but he didn't have the hat on, and he was kind of holding the hoverboard under his shoulder. And that Marty McFly, which came out for the Pop and T bundle, is different. Um, it, it's different than the one that I showed off here, because he has the hoverboard with him and doesn't have the hat on. And that is one that I definitely will pick up in the future. And that one, if I'm not mistaken, came out around the same time as this Marty McFly here. This next pop here we got is Magic Johnson. Now, he does come with a base. If you saw when I talked about Wonder Woman, she also came with a base. So, always look in the bottom, because sometimes there might be a base. And if you want to check, there would be a peg on the pop's foot. Anyway, this year is Magic Johnson. He has the Lakers jersey on, number 32, the NBA logo, right there, and then on the back, it's right there. And then he's dribbling the basketball, and this does look a lot like Magic Johnson, too. And this is just overall really great pop. I was glad I was able to pick this one up. Fun fact, the NBA logo, so the NBA kind of went off this picture of Jerry West he, he played for the Lakers in the 60s and 50s, saying it's loosely based off of this. But if you dive a bit deeper, there's one picture of Jerry West, and it fits. He's in the same pose, and there's some. Uh, I, there's a picture of it aligned up against, aligned on top of the NBA logo. And it fits in perfectly. So the NBA logo is basically an image of Jerry West. That, it's true. And he was a Laker, so it's kind of cool. I also would like to them to come out with more classic Lakers pops. Maybe like a Kareem Abdul-Jabbar would be great. I'm surprised they didn't make a Kareem in the second wave. Because a lot of people say, other than like... It's weird. Um, so, I watched this video on what other NBA players thought of who's the best player. Michael Jordan was number one, and number two is Kareem. So, he's considered one of the best. He is also the... Uh, he scored the most points out of anyone else in the NBA ever. So, I think it'd be a great one for them to make. So, before I show off the Hamsel pop here, there's the pin. So, it's this pop around... Oh, it says Pop the World. Uh, it doesn't say round on there. And it has the German flag as well as Hamsel's head. Now, I never did pick up the Passport, which had, um, which you could get all of the Pops and uh, put them in there. Because I only wanted to pick up, like, four of the Pop Around the World Pops. 
I mean, and then it got reduced to three when they weren't making Peko. It was kind of sad for me because I was looking forward for him. Anyway, here's Hamsel. He doesn't, he, when he stands, he really leans forward. Anyway, he has like a very German outfit on. He has a German hat. He's holding a pretzel and a, a mug of beer and it's foaming and stuff. It's a really cool pop. I really like what they gave him because a pretzel, definitely German, and a mug of beer, even more German. <laughs> That did not happen. Anyway, there's the hat there. He has a little pigtail. It's kind of hard to see there. There's his outfit. And there's his hat right there. And then recently, about a month ago, they had, well, last month in April, uh, in the Funko Pop Blitz game, they had a Pop Around the World event. And then the event actually had Hamsel as a person you could get. He was the common. And I did get him in the game. And then they also had a Douglas, which he's coming up next. They also had him. He was the legendary. I did get him. And then Martin Future Outfit was also in the game, in uh, the Funko Pop Blitz game. He was the rare for the recent Back to the Future event. And then the Pop Myth, Cyclops, he was in the first Myths, Myth event, and he was the epic. I also did get him in the game as well. So most of these Pops, I have a lot of Pops in my collection that were featured in the game, which I thought is kind of cool. But before I show off the pop, here's the pin. So there's the Canadian flag with Douglas's head. You can't really see the maple leaf because Douglas is right there. Now, instead of the maple leaf on the Canadian flag, they almost had it be a beaver because the beaver is Canada's national animal. That's why Douglas is a beaver. Um, but if Douglas wasn't the national animal, Probably be a moose. Probably could have made this be a moose. Um, because those are also really Canadian as well. And because his head is so big, he wants to lean forward. Anyway, here's Douglas. He has the Canadian Mountie outfit on. So he's holding, um, some maple syrup there. He has, I think that is a blue jay right there. Uh, I don't know if it's true or if this is how it is, but it could be a reference to the Toronto Blue Jays. Maybe... And then he has, of course, like the ranger hat on, big beaver tail there. And this is a really cool pop. This might actually be my favorite one in the pop around the world line. Um, it's either this or Ozzy. Hamsel's probably last. Um, but I do like them all. But Douglas is probably my favorite. Um, and it does make sense for me to get this one in chance. Because um, it's Canada, we go fishing in Canada every year, but this year, well, we didn't go last year because of COVID and the borders being closed. And since the borders are still closed, we're going to Minnesota this year instead of Canada. But either way, this is still a great pop. And the last pop here we got is the Cyclops. So this one's a lot like Dark Side in the last episode. They probably could have made this one a 6 inch because he is huge. So he has kind of like cave outfit on a skull right there one big eye horns big two big teeth large feet of course and a big club and this is a very detailed pop his outfit is very detailed and i do really like this one and this one did sell out on the funko shop it's not avail available anymore so i am really glad i was able to get this one that was today's episode of the funko pop review now, next week, guys, be on the lookout for my next episode of Comic-Con Review. So, that was today's episode of Funko Pop Review. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys later.